I'm Tim Geddes and this is IGN News. Data from the Mars Curiosity rover is painting a new picture of the planet's transformation into the arid world it is today. Evidence of water once flowing over the surface of the red planet is abundant. There are signs that beneath the surface of the planet there may still exist great stores of water. Mars's north pole is covered in a vast sheet of ice, but as for the rest of the surface, the presence of water exists only in evidence left behind from its disappearance. By analyzing the clay at the bottom of what was once a vast lake, Curiosity has sent data back to Earth that scientists then used to determine the ratio of deuterium to hydrogen. That may not sound like a clear case for determining how long Mars took to lose its surface water, but the heavier deuterium stays behind while the lighter hydrogen escapes the planet, leaving a clue. The hydrogen isotopes in the clay are indicative of when the clay formed about 3 billion years ago, and together with data gleaned from the meteorites originating from Mars and other sources, scientists have shifted the timelines for both when the process began and how long the process took. Mars, having only about a third of Earth's gravity, is more susceptible to loss of gases to space, especially in atoms as light as hydrogen. This loss of hydrogen atoms into space and their lack of reabsorption back to the planet is the prevailing factor in Mars' process of drying out. Researchers hope they can use these methods to determine just how much Mars and water was lost to space, according to Ars Technica. Knowing this could answer another question, did life ever find a foothold on Mars? Stay tuned to IGN.